Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's see, where were we? We defeated the Orion Guardian. Okay, we need to buy that factory. I do believe we have some fleet upgrades we need to take care of here. Not that, no. Let me see, how much is this? Oh, that's nothing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that Zeretrium armor is really cheap. It's a it's a really good upgrade. Excellent upgrade, which is why if you can get Orion, uh it's it's a it, it's a priority. It's definitely not something you want to ignore. Huh. I mean you can win without Orion. I'm I'm not saying it's a prerequisite for victory, but uh Sure helps. Let's take a look at our espionage. He's doing a steal. <coughs> That's all fine. What about our diplomacy here? We've got... Okay. That should be in force for a while. The teddy bears. Got a truce with him. He, we're in alliance with this dude. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, this guy just produced a battleship. And he's got pollution problems. Of course he does. Because I want to start making beam battleships, but no. We can't have that. Now, can we? Hmm, I could terraform him, but my pollution's already a problem. I may have to hold off on that until I get some type of better option to deal with that. Uh, we need interplanetary administration. That's a priority. Um, hmm, he's ocean. Minus 15. Let's go for Robo Miners. Because that'll add seven. Yeah, so you, you look at that. You know, seven is almost. Oh, God, it's early. It's like a 30%, 35% increase to production. So, yeah. That definitely makes sense there. Uh, pollution is minus seven. He's already got Robo Miners. Let's get some spy protection. I also need that spaceport. Or starport, or whatever it's called. Hmm. What we got here? He's at 8 of 10. He's got an unhappy worker, and he's Tundra. Uh, we have 32 command points, so we're good to go there. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that worker up. <laughs> Alright. Waggy. That's a funny name. Waggy. I don't think I'm a big fan of all those guys doing research on this planet. How's our pollution? Pretty good. Could be a little better. See, this... Upgrades to that. So I'll build this, go to something else, and then come back to the pollution processor. Ah, oh, this poor volcanic. Yeah. Oh, it's three turns. It's only going to be two credits, but every credit helps. What's this old boy doing? Hmm. Hmm. Probably need soil enrichment. Get that food production. Yeah, 70 turns is just not gonna. That's that's a little better. Yeah. I have a proposition for you. Ooh. Dang. Sure. My Appreciate it. <laughs> you gotta love it when the 
AI gives you really good tech. He must he must really be scared of me. Huh. Let's redesign our ships. Uh, what we got here? Yeah, we got ten over here. What can we do with ten? Probably not much. I don't think that'll fit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. That's tough. See that? That drops its defense to 97, which is still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the destroyer. I wonder. Oh, wow. I can get Dauntless on my destroyers. Or I could just put a second bank of missiles. Yeah, that's let's let's try that. Let's try that. Let's let's go let's go down one here and then go up to there we go. Yeah. Can we get in squeeze another PDC? No, can't quite make it fit. Okay. Nice, nice. <laughs> now he can have Dauntless. Yeah. There we go. That's nice. That's very nice. Let's up that firepower. Might get a PDC in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Excellent. Boy, the Bolrothi just really made a mistake. They should not have done that. Let's see here. 415, 564. Yeah, I really don't... I really don't care for devices that I have to micro during battles. I just I, I just don't want to do it. Let me see here. What's his defense? 564? Yeah. I believe in getting the enemy dead. Perfect defense. A dead opponent. Perfect crowd control, if you will. Okay, the beam. Hmm. Wonder if we can make these heavy. Hmm. Interesting. That takes from 367 to 522. Hell yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh yeah. And those are 360 mounts, right? Yes, okay. Yeah. I like heavy enveloping, but we'll get there once we get the HyperX capacitors. I know it's Hyper Mark 10, but I just say Hyper Hyper X and you know, whatever. Yeah, that's that's awesome there. There we go. Yeah, these guys are formidable now. Okay. Boy, he should not have done that. 3780. Holy shit. Here, we're going to have to do that piecemeal. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Saganez. Or Saganes. Like Saganez, but whatever. Could be Saganes. I don't know. Hmm. Huh. That's fine. <coughs> Nine turns is a long time. What you got here? What you got? What you got? Okay, pollution's good. Okay. What we got? Alright. Uh, we probably need a warp gate right there. And then we'll need to come on down to Harag and get it into shape. Might as well pull these guys back. These guys back to Harag. And guard. I can't believe he gave me Mega Fluxers. Man, that is <laughs> That's sweet. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm happy. 
We are going to have to punch the Borothi in the mouth here pretty soon. But I need some battleships before I, I make a move. I don't think the humans would come after me. I really don't. Although, I really could use a fourth fleet to have one here, just in case he tries to backstab me. Hmm. Yeah. What are you going to do? You can't have everything. Okay. Let's see. Espionage. Seven turns on the steel. Uh, we need to bank 700 for the next trade deal with the, the humans. What we got here? What we got here? Yeah, I really need to buy. Yeah, I gotta buy this. Because if I don't, I can't can't get Orion kickstarted properly. Ooh, what we got here? My battleships are better. Just a lonely destroyer. Okay, no big deal there. Oh, what's this? That's that cruiser fleet of his falling back. Okay, okay. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. You know what? He's just sitting there. Let's get him over here. Okay, stagnant. Hmm. What happened here? Weird. Okay, go soil enrichment. Huh. Oh, sorry. My coffee bug scratched, uh, bumped into my microphone. Hmm. As the Jim Hadar would say, the coffee is life. Hmm. Yeah, we got some morale, though. This planet's not going to need it, but I do like to have uh, marine barracks on every single planet. It's just, I think, a good policy. I could be wrong. Okay, we got a battleship. Battleship is in position. <coughs> Excuse me. Battleship needs to be upgraded, but all right. So there's no longer any really cheap buildings to be had. See, normally what I'd do is I'd buy a cloning center. Hmm, that's really cheap. Okay, let me let me go one turn and then I'll think about buying that cloning center at Orion. Hmm. Minus four. Tice Prime. What you got here for me, Tice Prime? I want hammers. Yeah. Alrighty, alright, 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 alright. Okay. Zero, son of a bitch. Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's... Baron. Crappy, crappy gravity. Shit. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Well, that's really important. Yeah, ten turns. It's a little long. What? what you got? What you got? What you got? Okay, just one destroyer. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Just keeping an eye on the old teddy bear. Just gotta watch what he's up to. That's interesting that I can see that planet. That's interesting. I'll be honest with you. I don't fully understand the spotting distances and how they're calculated. I know the listening posts are supposed to help, but I don't 
I, I, I don't know by how much. I haven't been able to quantify it. I just know subjectively it's, air quotes, better. <laughs> how better? Beats the shit out of me. Mm. Okay, Waggy is all by itself. Waggy. The pollution's fine. He gets Robo Miners. Yeah. Hmm. I sure would like to solidify some support from the humans. Uh, this planet could really use a starbase because they're out on their own. They're isolated. And a starbase will allow ships to repair faster and will dramatically increase that planet's defenses. Alright. We can put him to sleep. We can check our upgrade costs. Ouch. Let's just let's just call it prohibitive. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I'm just gonna put him to sleep. That doesn't seem to aggro the computer. I was wrong about that. GNN, Galactic News Network. Yeah, they're just piling on. The computer's so predictable. They just pile on. It's oh, need to upgrade him definitely. I always upgrade my space factories. Oh, there's a gas giant there. Oh, cool. Oh, what's this? Okay, just a single banged up cruiser. Okay. Um. Okay, let's risk it for the biscuit. Plus 31. I mean, he can make a cruiser in nine turns. And we make the space elevator. That'll knock it down to six. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it. Do it now. You are a girly man. You have a stomach like a poop filled diaper. The Mechla have pompitude. We will crash you. Mm, what the fuck am I doing here? Rather, other than doing really bad Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonations. <sighs> I see. Oh God, I've been up since three in the morning. I can't think cl think clearly. <sighs> Tundra, three pollution. Okay, he's got a pollution problem. Okay, let me fix that. Eminently fixable. If you don't know the way the pollution system works, um, you know, you have a certain amount of pollution tolerance, right? And so you can see uh, how much pollution and then how much cleanup. Uh, so your biome tolerance, it's currently set to 40. That's because it's Terran. <clears throat> if we were to go up to Gaia, that would drop. So as you go up in biomes, you have less and less pollution tolerance. So you really have to be careful about walking up because your your pollution is just your hammers. You know, pollution from industry is 40.5. That's from 27 uh, hammers, and then I think the underlying buildings have uh, pollution costs. I'm not sure on that one, but uh, yeah. I think it's a pretty good system. Uh, these guys really, really would benefit from an upgrade, and that would be all my fucking money. Can't do that right now. Mm hmm. He's got 26. He gets Robo Miners. Yeah, I mean, when I when I first place a colony, it's all about the food, then it's all about the hammers, and then eventually I start to identify, um, you know, who's going to get, you know, who's going to get um, transitioned over to uh, research slash trade colonies. 
those are colonies that will never amount to, to anything production-wise. Um, big star systems with rich, ultra-rich, uh, they usually wind up getting my, uh, my uh, production-boosting tech. <sighs> Let me see. Okay, we got the... Hmm. Okay, we will need to start adding in morale. This planet will really start to, to take off on us. You know, you add a worker. You know, one worker is going to add five food. So that's going to drive it from eight to 13, which is huge, you know. And then the next guy is going to add another five, and the next guy is going to add another five. So you're going to get a 30% jump in in food production. And, of course, the Mechlar use less food. So, <laughs> um, you know, these, the, these first five pops all going into, into, into agriculture were really, in, in 20 turns, uh, Orion should be, should be looking pretty darn good. Of course, the game might be over in 20 turns, so <laughs> it may all be moot. <laughs> Let's see here. Mm -hmm. See, even the, even though these are poor and ultra poor, I'm hoping that this this system can um, can become a production system. Uh, but yeah, that's you know they're gonna have to. Do I need a colony ship? <coughs> I do. Hmm. 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 Where do I want that colony ship to come from? Hmm. What's he making? Robo miners. See, he's at thirteen and thirteen. See, he's growing. Yeah, see, if I make the colony ship here, because when you make the colony ship, you lose a pop. It goes onto the colony ship. Hmm, let me do... Uh, well, Nancy. It's all enrichment. Yeah. Because then, let's see, watch. He's actually fine. Hmm. That might not make sense. Okay, if that doesn't make sense, then uh, I mean you could do this, and this, and then that would that would allow more flexible. Well, no, this wouldn't help if you. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll just go trade goods for now. We'll change it later. <coughs> mm hmm. Minus four on the pollution. That's not so good. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, let's go trade goods for a little while. We can pull them off later. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, Robo Miners. <laughs> early on, it's food, food, food. And then mid game to early late game, it's hammers, hammers, hammers. Ah. Uh. Uh huh. Minus sixteen. That's good. Uh, yeah. He's a desert. Six to seven. Yeah, let's terraform him. Increase his population cap. All right. He's barren. He's got a radiation shield. Hmm. Did I see... No, everybody's working. Okay, okay. Everybody's working. Pollution is fine, so we'll go ahead and robo-miner that. That'll be plus five hammers. Four of eight. Now yeah, we gotta go like that. <coughs> huh. Form of spy defense. The humans were... Messing with us. Okay, this guy needs to go. Wait a minute. 
Thought I already retasked him. Hold on a minute. How many space tractors do I have? <laughs> Thought I only had two. Yeah, I've only got two. Okay. Let's check diplomacy here. What you doing, human? Ah, uh, well. Hmm. Your mind, Don't suppose you'd vote for me. No, 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 no. I always do the wrong one. There we go. I just don't think this will work. Hmm. Sorry. Well, you can vote for me, or I can invade you. <laughs> Those are your options. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. No. Yeah, I'm gonna give him fusion bomb. Watch this. Gladly. Doesn't really make any difference. He's already got the bigger, the bigger bomb. So what do I care? <clears throat> oh God. Huh. Trying to get that diplomatic victory. I wonder if I can take the Barathi once my first gen battleships arrive. See, the problem is a little friendly barter will help both our races thrive. Don't really? You? Well, sure. <laughs> It'll make him happy. Right? Excellent. It's a you would test the other. Yeah, I'll come take your shit. <laughs> well, what the? Okay, well, isn't this very Israel slash United States of them? <laughs> Allies spying on... Yeah, of course, the British spied on us, and we spied on the British, so, you know, it's not just... Don't want to be anti-Semitic about that. Lots of friendly countries spy on each other. It's just kind of... It's kind of fucked up. I understand it from a Machiavellian point of view, but it's still kind of fucked up. You know, you're like, hey, we're friends, but I'm going to put a webcam in your house and <laughs> watch what you do. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> See, it's unfortunate. I don't have the economy to really support the fleet I want to build. It's a little frustrating. So let's start adding... Let's do something about it. Start building spaceports. Uh, this fleet down here is definitely tip of the spear. So let's see about upgrading a few of these guys here. Wow! Ouch! Ouchy wow! Ah, uh, expensive <laughs> to say the least. Mm. How's Orion doing? Two turns to the next pop. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I need to do better on my economic output. I could raise taxes, but it would it would really hurt my morale. So let's just start spamming spaceports. You know, if our economy isn't producing enough money, then do something about it, right? Five to seven turns. That'll be plus 15 right there. Do it on enough planets, and suddenly it's plus 100. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was trying to get the, um... There's a Steam achievement for, uh, Winning the game with every race for every victory condition on, um... I think hard. It's the, I think it's the setting below extreme. And I, I'm, I'm almost there. I just need an economic victory with the, um, what you call it, the clack on. They're uncreative, and I tried twice. Ooh, somebody's got a three thousand defense fleet. Holy shit! Yeah. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't go so well. So yeah, I've I've been th trying to think of 
a way I can get that victory condition without having to to play another game is the damn I hate the clack on I hate him with a passion I don't uncreative has got to be my least favorite oh wow 21 turns yikes yeah let's just start making some money and um, upgrade our fleet holy crap uh yeah, he, he needs to go here, because <laughs> if that 3,000 defense fleet hit me in Gonzal, I mean, that'd be all she wrote for Gonzal. And they'd probably get Orion before I had time to retask my, my units all the way back to, to defend that flank. Huh. Okay. I think this will be our last turn. And like I said, we're going to try to get our economy in better shape here. Um, 11 turns is too long. We are getting hit with spies, so... Okay, guys. Well, that's, that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.